Hey there everybody and welcome to another one of my videos. Today, I'm going to go through and show you how to import your XML files into Smart Music so that you can use it with all your classes. Down in the comments below, make sure to let me know what types of videos you would like to see me make about Smart Music so that I can help you to become a better Smart Music teacher. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the right and I'm going to come down and click on the Compose icon with the feather. Over on the left hand side, I'm going to click on the Import Music XML. This is such an easy thing to do, is to take your XML files and import it into Smart Music. And if you're going to spend all that time working on something in your notation software, it's pretty awesome to be able to bring it over into Smart Music this easily and then eventually assign it to your kids. I'm going to click on Dancing in the Moonlight. And it says that it's imported. Congratulations. I'm going to click Go. It's going to ask me if this is indeed for alto saxophone. It is, so I'm going to click OK. And now this piece of music is in here. Over on the left-hand side, you can see the Edit Selection. I can go in here and I can change any of the parameters on this piece of music that I brought in through XML. I can go up top and I can edit along here also. Those options are all there. So I click on the File button because I eventually want to save this. And I'm going to come over to the cloud and I'm going to save this to my Smart Music account. I like the name that I've named it already, Dancing in the Moonlight. I'm going to click Save. It saves it and I'm going to find this in my content and there it is. Now from my content I can assign this to my classes just by hitting the assign button. And then I just come in, hit the custom assignment and I can change all of these parameters and then I move to the next screen to assign it. I like everything about this. If I wanted to make something shorter, I could come down to where these bars are and decide on a little section to assign to my kids at a time. I'm going to click the next screen and I'm going to add my rubric and I'll put in 20 points. And I do want to assign this now. I can come in here and I can assign it to any of my classes. I have the option of clicking on this and only assigning to certain kids who I feel can handle this kind of music. Or I can just assign it to all the students. So that option again was right here. Click on assign to some students. Now I can pick and choose who I want to assign to. I'll leave it with all the um, students and I will click the next button and now I'm done and that's assigned. I hope you enjoyed the content that I shared with you about importing your XML files to use in Smart Music. If you like this content today, make sure to let me know by hitting the like button down below. Also, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll get all of my future content as soon as it's released. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video.